Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. Today's topic is about one of Blender secrets that many people don't know, it's negative emission and negative light. In this scene, we have only one light source and its power is 2000 watts. I'll duplicate it by pressing Shift D and move the new light to be closer to our default cube, and of course, light will be reflected on the cube making it brighter or shinier. If you decrease this number by clicking and dragging, the minimum number you can reach is zero. You can't go below zero unless you type a negative number using your numpad on the keyboard. I'll type minus 250 for example. As you can see, the cube became darker, this negative light absorbs light instead of emitting it, Blender made black holes real, you can think of it as if it emits shadow instead of light. You can use it to reduce the amount of light inside a cup or a cave or similar objects. I'll hide the default cube for now and unhide my cave. There are some light bounces inside it. If you want to make the inside of it darker, you can use negative light. So I'll move the negative light and put it inside the cave by pressing Alt G. Now the light is absorbed and this might be the result that you're looking for. If it's too dark, you can change the value. I'll try minus 100. Let's try minus 10. How about minus 40? Or maybe minus 60? I think minus 80 is the best. Let's have a look at different views. I'll delete the negative light to see the original view. For this light, let's make its power minus 2000 watts. Now it absorbs light. What would happen if we changed the color? If we choose a yellow color, it'll emit a blue color. The negative sign of the power gives the opposite color of the wheel, so if you choose yellow, it gives blue. Similarly, if we choose green, it gives this violet color that exists on the opposite side of the color wheel. Similarly, this color also gives red. Objects in Blender can emit light so, they can emit negative light too. I made a quick scene here with normal positive light, and I'll make Suzanne have a negative emission. Let's see the effect of positive emission first. Suzanne has light reflection on the cube. Let's make the value minus 20. Suzanne now is completely dark, and it absorbed some light from the cube instead of reflecting light, so we see this black reflection here. Same rule applies for colors, because we have a negative value, so if we choose green for example, it will give this violet emission. You can use negative values for not only emission, but also other settings in the material. For example, the metallic value can be set to minus 50. Here is the negative sign. Roughness can be minus 0.5. IOR can be minus 1.5 and transmission can be minus 1. I don't know what these negative values are used for, so if you know, you can share this with us in the comments section, and I'll try to figure out and I'll let you know in the upcoming tutorials, so don't forget to subscribe to get the upcoming videos, have a nice day, see you later.